Yo, what's up, guys? It is your boy, Six Your Fishing TV here now. I forgot to record the intro to this, so I'm recording it now, and, and I so sorry about that. If the lighting's bad, just stay tuned. You will like the video. So I went out, tested the case, threw some casts with it, did some long distance casts, show you guys how far it cast. Uh, test put it, tested it out, caught some fish on it. Just had a good time in general. And so, yeah, if you guys actually like this video, please like, subscribe, like, and subscribe. And, um, yeah. See you guys chaos today this is going to be part two of the shimano cash review you see us we are at this pond um only got about an hour to fish today and this is probably just going to be the actual intro to the video unless we catch 20 fish but uh yeah this is the intro so let's get into it i'm gonna start on this little island fish this back part right here just trying to figure out what i'm gonna throw Maybe go with these Guggen baits. Maybe a pink trick worm. I'm gonna go with the trick worm. If this doesn't work, you guys know what I gotta go with. The old wacky worm. But for now, let's try the trick worm. And then the crack and crawl. Let's see if I can't get something. Something just, there's, they're waking out here. All right, let's see if what we can do. Maiden voyage, basically. For this new Shimano. I think I got a hit there. I'm not for sure though. Just launched it out to the middle of the pond. Don't let that sink. Nothing on this pink trick worm. So I'm gonna go with what I know best at this pond. And throw a wacky rig on. All right, boys. Now I got to figure out what color I'm going to use. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm not sure what colors I have. Found some of these blue trick sticks or whatever color these say they are. Trick sticks. I'm trying to get a fish before I gotta get out of here. Before it's too dark. I kind of like that color. It's kind of a good color. A little wacky, really, a little split shot on there. The only reason I'm really even throwing a split shot on there is because, honestly, I don't know. Because I like how fast the sink goes sink, and I don't know if these will sink as fast. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's right on this bank. They're blowing up on top water right now. Might have to throw something top water. And then I'm gonna switch up to a top water. The ones I've seen busting on top water weren't very big though. So I'm wondering if the big ones are deeper and the little ones are up shallow right now. But I haven't even got it. I've got one hit on this wacky rig. So obviously it's not working either. I'm gonna go top water. Possibly a frog. In that back cove right there. All right. Yep, that's what I'm doing. You know what? I got a feeling about one of these jerk baits. Oh my gosh, on the money. No way, no way. I just had one hit. You don't know until you try it. Ooh, there's two bass back here, actually. Hey. Oh my god. Fish. Fish one. Fish one. Keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. On the bank, boys. Let's go, baby. On the chatterbait. Finally got one of these little bass. They kept blowing up. Always barely hooked. I 
Sounds good. Another one. Better. 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 Not better, actually, the same size. Actually, it's a little bit better. Two fish on the chatterbait. Oh my gosh. Boys. This thing absolutely swallowed the chatter donk. This micro chatterbait. Putting in the work for him. Bites on one. A little fat one. This one's a little tiny one. He's probably about 12 inches. Fat though. Let the little guy go. Yo, what is up? It is day two of us fi uh, filming the Abu Garcia part two, which I'm just going to be fishing with it. It's going to be me and my grandpa going out today to this pond down here. So we're going to ride the four wheeler down there. Maybe I'll drive the truck. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out though. But it's just right down the road. Like the same pond I was fishing at. And then we got like as many, we got a long time to fish. It's only 12 o'clock. Get out there, catch a bunch of fish, and I'll see you guys on the water. destination as you guys can see the pond uh, I brought three rods today my this Shimano Shimano Corrado with custom rod this is my grandpa's told me I could have it so I ain't you fishing with it now so yes don't know what I'm gonna start with maybe I also brought a little rod for catfishing Decent water temperatures. I checked it um, when I was here. There's fish blowing up already. That is a good sign. I literally see fish. That's good. It's real good. Need to get a pair of sunglasses bad, but this pond is super deep. I think out in the middle, it's like 20 some feet. It's actually kind of crazy to be honest. Grab one of these rod holders right here. Just for the catfish rod. You never know, I might get lucky, get a big catfish on it. Just gonna go ahead and put that on this little point right here. Alright, I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you guys then. Hog wild bait balls. Probably just gonna throw them on the hook and they smell so bad. God, they smell terrible. But they eat, they eat dog food early in the summer. I'm not sure. But they're eating now. It's kind of windy. Wind chills. Actually, pretty cold. Nah, that should be good. Let's see if anything will eat it. There we go. That's set out there now. I think we'll start with the chatterbait. Got one, boys. Hooked up first fish of the day. I couldn't even tell I had one, to be honest. Better one. A little bit actually decent fish today. For this pond, that's a good fish. All right, boys. So the first fish. Day, I knew there's a fish back in that back cove. A little 13 incher. Probably. Maybe about 12. First fish of the day on the chatterbait. Get down here. 
let him go. There you go, There he goes, right back to his home. Ah, ah. All right, first fish of the day. Been here like 10 minutes. Let's go. All right, guys, so of course I was not recording because the bike's been really slow, but I threw this Ned rig on, and he kind of engulfed it. It's a little guy. So, yeah, I'm going to throw back out there and maybe even record with my chest camera now. So, yeah, let's get back in there. Got one, boys. Got one. Got one. Get him on the boat. It's a, that's an okay one. This is four, I believe, on the day. Maybe three. But I'm gonna release him easy, cause I don't know if he's good or not. <laughs> There you go. It's really slow, but uh, there's a guy who commented in that told me if, he, if I could do a full cast on the Shimano KS. So I'm gonna do a full cast, have a little crankbait on here, a little striking red eyed shad. And you guys see how far that went? I'll do one more when I reel this one in. Right, guys, ready? Y'all see that right there? That's how far I went. All right, guys, I'll pick up if I catch anything or get any bites. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We caught a couple fish, not as many as I planned to catch, but the weather's kind of finicky right now. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.